Erie Elementary, The School is Alive by Jack Chabert and Sam Ricks. Erie Elementary, The School is Alive. Author, Jack Chabert. Illustrator, Sam Ricks. This recording includes chapters 13, 14, and 15 to conclude Erie Elementary, The School is Alive. We left off with Erie Elementary coming alive during the school show. Chapter 13, Worm Mouth. Swoosh! The big red curtain swooshed shut. The audience gasped. They could no longer see the stage. A closet door banged open behind Sam. Then the floorboards lifted up to form a slide. Ms. Grinker and the other students tumbled backward into the closet. From off stage, Mr. Nakobe yelled, Sam, it's happening. He ran toward Sam, but the curtain ropes grabbed hold of him. The ropes flung Mr. Nakobe inside the closet too. The door snapped shut. Next, the lights went out. Only one spotlight stayed on. It was pointed at Sam, Lucy, and Antonio. The audience can't see the stage, and the teachers and students are trapped in the closet, Sam thought. I'm the only one who can save everyone. The chair mouth began to climb up out of its hole in the floor like a worm coming up out of the ground. Lucy and Antonio began kicking and screaming. What is that? Lucy yelled. Antonio thrashed on his wire, trying to get away from the huge teeth. As he swung, his lucky peanut butter and jelly sandwich slipped from his pocket. It fell down into the giant mouth. The sandwich splattered against the chair teeth. Sam got an idea. I'll be back, he shouted up to his friends. Don't leave us, Sam, Lucy cried. She was fiddling with her wire, trying to untie herself. Just trust me, Sam said. He leapt over the giant mouth. Everyone in the audience gasped as Sam jumped out from behind the closed curtains. He sprinted out of the dark auditorium and into the hallway. When Sam reached, at, reached the end of the hall, he pushed open the lunchroom door. It was quiet and dark, but as soon as Sam stepped inside, the lunchroom came alive. The chairs shook. The long tables buckled up and down and the ceiling lamp swung. A deep moaning sound came from a speaker on the wall. Eerie Elementary was howling. Sam needed to get into the kitchen, but every step he took seemed to make the school angrier. Packages of cookies exploded. Tables flipped over. Light bulbs above his head shattered. Suddenly, the vending machine began firing bottles of water at him. One blasted Sam in the chest, knocking him onto his back. Oh, I'll never make it all the way to the kitchen, he thought, unless... Sam thought back to his training. He remembered Antonio telling him to use what was around him. Sam leapt to his feet, grabbed an orange lunch tray, and held it over his chest. He hopped up on a table and sprinted down the length of it. As he charged toward the kitchen, the vending machine fired more water bottles at him. The bottles bounced off his shield. Sam jumped off the end of the table, hit the ground, and rolled into the kitchen. Then he saw it, the one thing that could save his friends. Chapter 14, Eat This. Sam stared up at a giant drum of peanut butter. It was stacked high atop a table full of food supplies. He shook the table, then jumped back. Jars of secret sauce and cans of soup crashed to the ground, along with the peanut butter drum. Sam rolled the drum out through the lunchroom door. He gave it a heavy push. It barreled down the hall, clearing a path. Pow! The drum knocked a monstrous chair out of the way. Boom! The drum sent a spinning trash can flying. Clam, clam, clam. The drum blasted through a set of locker doors. The peanut butter drum crushed everything in its way. At last, 
Sam made it backstage with the drum. Lucy ran toward him. Lucy, Sam yelled, how'd you get down? I was able to untie myself, but I couldn't reach Antonio. He's still stuck and... Sam pushed the drum toward the stage and looked up. The giant mouth had grown larger. It was now made of hundreds of folding chairs that together formed a hundred teeth. Two of the teeth had hold of Antonio's green pants. Any second now, he would be eaten alive. Help! yelled Antonio. Sam, what can we do? asked Lucy. Follow my lead, Sam said. The mouth was about to chomp into Antonio. Just then, Sam shouted, Hey, Erie Elementary, are you hungry? The monstrous chair mouth turned away from Antonio. It faced Sam and Lucy and let out a growl. Sam and Lucy didn't flinch. They stood up perfectly still. The mouth opened wider. Lucy grabbed hold of Sam's arm. Sam held his breath. As the giant mouth charged toward them, the stage floorboards were breaking apart. Sam stared into the center of the chomping, thrashing mouth. It was upon them. Now, Sam screamed. Together, Sam and Lucy kicked the heavy peanut butter drum as hard as they could. It bowled across the stage right into the giant mouth. The teeth chomped down on the drum and kaboom. The drum burst open and gallons of peanut butter flew everywhere. The peanut butter was gumming up the monster's mouth. The chewing had slowed, then stopped. Lucy and Sam bumped fists. You did it! Antonio shouted from up high. I couldn't have done it without you two, said Sam smiling. The sticky mouse slipped back down through the trap door. The trap door was closed. The floor returned to normal. It was over. Erie Elementary was silent. Then, all of the sudden, the stage curtain swooshed open. Chapter 15. Sam Graves, Hall Monitor. The lights came on. The closet door opened. Ms. Grinker, Mr. Nicobe, and the students stumbled out. For a moment, everyone was quiet. The audience looked around, confused. Ms. Grinker walked out on stage. Um, well, uh, let's have a hand for the kids. That play was amazing, she said. Sam's mom started clapping. Wonderful job, Sam, she yelled. Soon everyone was clapping. No one had any idea what had just happened. Lucy helped Antonio down from his wire. Then she whispered to Sam, um, now what? Sam smiled. Now we take our bows. Backstage, the students were changing out of their costumes. Mr. Nicobe took Sam aside. You did well tonight, Sam Graves, he said. Everyone here is in good hands. Then he walked away. Sam ran over to his friends. He burst out. I told you guys the school was alive. Now do you believe me? Antonio and Lucy were talking so fast that Sam could hardly understand them. He laughed and said, guys, relax. I'll tell you everything. And he did. As they were waiting out front for their parents, Sam told his friends everything there was to tell about Erie Elementary. The school cast long shadows lit by the moon, but two large windows were open and inside two lights burned like eyes watching the three best friends. Sam reached into his backpack he felt the hall monitor sash that just a few days earlier he had been embarrassed to wear. Now he had a sudden urge to put it on. He knew it wouldn't be long before Erie Elementary would strike again. Thanks for reading Erie Elementary, The School is Alive. Next time I'll begin 
Erie Elementary, the Locker 8 Lucy.